Welcome to the Statistic in DD YouTube channel. Recently a client told me she used BaseR's unique function to eliminate duplicated rows from her dataset. She got the desired result but her code ran too slowly. So I thought about how to speed that code up. The data we are going to use today is the flights data from the New York City Flights 13 package. We're using the bench package to do some benchmarks and we're using the data table package because um, that will help us get a speed. You see that the data set is not big data in the sense of gigabytes, but at least it's got over 300,000 rows, so using different functions should really um, show distinctive differences. And for the data table package that we'll use later, we um, transform this data set to a data table object flights underscore dt. The size of the data set is just under 40 megabytes and we start out using BaseR's unique function. I call on the garbage collector first um, but you see that we still get a warning from the benchmark or the mark function from the bench package. I really like this notation benchmark. Um, it warns us about garbage collector and this is one of the nice features of the bench package that it is very explicit about the garbage collector. I used the microbenchmark package before, uh, which also works very well but doesn't have this feature. It's not that explicit about the garbage collector. And we see a runtime for this code is six seconds and that's why I use a pre-calculated markdown document for this video and don't show it live because it would take too long for a video. So how can we speed up on this timing of more than six seconds? So two ideas came to my mind. The first one is um, the, unique, the unique function looks at all the columns, but a subset of columns should really suffice to identify duplicated rows. Ideally, you should have an ID column in your dataset, but this is an example of a dataset that does not have an ID column. So looking at the data, I thought that these three variables, a timestamp, time hour, and departure time and arrival time should suffice to identify duplicated rows, but it turns out using the mark function from the bench package we get an error message and the error message tells us the results are not equal. And this is also a nice feature. Um, mark automatically confirms or tests if the results are equal and in this case I made a mistake um, with my selection of columns. I should have tested that but um, I, I was able to rely on, on the mark function and it ran the test for me. Another thing that stands out in this code example is that with base as unique I didn't find um, a convenient way of specifying which variables or columns to use to identify duplicated rows. So I switched from the unique function to the duplicated function and negated it to keep um, the non-duplicated rows. And in yeah, but we get this error message, so I had to recheck which columns to use and with some testing I found a combination of four columns, tail num, minute, time hour and flight, and we'll use that for our second run using the same syntax here again with the duplicated function negating that and using that to subset non-duplicated rows. And now bench, the bench package with a mark function does not complain anymore so the results are equal and we see here that we get a little bit more than a twofold speed improvement using a subset of columns even though the code is more complicated using subsetting and negation and so on. So it was worth the effort um, and a twofold speed improvement is not so bad but now let's see what data table can do. So here's the code for the timings of data table. I use a separate function to time that because we have different objects, different types of objects. We had a data frame before and now we have a data table object. So it's very convenient. I can use exactly the same function, unique, but on a data table object, flights underscore dt, um, and then data tables function is used. And also in the second row here you see that um, the unique function in the data table package gives me this by parameter that I can use to specify columns. Um, so it's more convenient than um, the syntax in base R. 
here we see that using the four columns only gives a slight speed improvement compared to using the unique function on the full data set on all the columns um, but it but the selection of columns is still a little bit faster at least um, but you see that overall we are at a completely different range we were in six and three seconds range with base r and here we are in the milliseconds range double digits for milliseconds so it's really much faster and to summarize I calculated exactly by which factor we were able to improve on our code on our speed so first of all within base r the two approaches all the columns versus selected columns gives us a two just over twofold speed improvement and then using the full data set so not um, specifying a subset of columns um, we get a hundredfold speed imp improvement using data table so that's really massive I think that scales very well um, comparing the two approaches within base R and within data table that only use a subset of columns we see that data table still by orders of magnitude faster 60 fold speed improvement um, so not as much as on the full data set but still very impressive and combining the two approaches and comparing um, just the plain base R function on all the columns to the data table function on a subset of columns so combining the two approaches and really getting the maximum speed improvement uh, that we could find we get a 126 fold speed improvement um, these numbers of course may not hold true exactly for your use case it always depends a little bit on the data um, but I think we can be very confident to get a huge speed improvement using data table I hope this helps for your projects if you like the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing the channel if you haven't already it really helps the channel um, all the best for your R projects. Thank you and see you soon. Goodbye.